What's up guys, welcome back to another electric skateboard video. We've already talked about the general parts you're gonna need to build an electric skateboard. We've talked about what motor you should get. And now today we're talking about how to choose a battery, what you're looking for when choosing a battery, and uh, kind of what options are out there. So you can't just use any old battery and expect your board to function properly. There are a few things you have to look for and a few qualities in batteries uh, that need to exist uh, for your board to work properly. So. Uh, Let's take a look at those. So the three main qualities of electric skateboard battery is high amp output and high discharge rate, the proper voltage and proper capacity. Without capacity, you're not going very far. Without voltage, you're not going very fast. Without good output, you're not going anywhere at all. So uh, you gotta look for those three things and we'll kind of break down uh, specifically what each of those mean, but uh, yeah. So electric skateboards draw a ton of power. To put that into perspective, uh, most builds uh, will draw um, more than 20 times the amperage that it takes to charge a simple smartphone. So you'll need a battery that uh, can supply the power that the ESC and the motor are asking for. So of course there are tons and tons of different types of batteries and different chemistries out there, uh, but there are, main, there are mainly two uh, batteries that uh, most of us stick to when building electric skateboards, and that is LiPo batteries, lithium polymer, and lithium ion batteries. Um, those are the two main choices. Obviously there's a ton of different other types of batteries, but uh, obviously you're not gonna strap a lead acid battery to your, to your electric skateboard, so those two uh, are relatively light and high powered, so that's kind of what we go for. So lithium polymer, lithium ion, what's the difference? Mainly the chemistries, but there are a, a number of characteristics that are unique to each category. Um, for our application, um, both, of them, both options are very, very good. Um, so nothing to worry about too much. There's, uh, you know, there's a lot of information out there on lithium ion versus lithium polymer. That honestly deserves its own video altogether. There are plenty of in-depth videos that exist here on YouTube already. There's no need for me to rip them off. So if you're really interested in the differences, um, check one of those out because uh, they'll explain it much more than I will be able to. But just keep in mind that both of them are really good options for electric skateboards. Um, just keep a few things in mind. Lithium polymer, LiPo batteries, usually you need to either install BMS uh, yourself or you need to get a balance charger to balance charge them properly. Um, lithium ion packs usually already come with a BMS installed and are more plug and play. You just kind of plug the charger into the charge port and you're good to go. Um, lithium polymer, like depending on what, like what configuration you use, you have to charge each uh, pack separately, which can be kind of a pain and it gets old kind of quickly. Um, but they are cheaper options versus a lithium ion pack. So um, totally up to you, but those are kind of a few things to keep in mind. So earlier we talked about the three main qualities of electric skateboard batteries. Uh, to start, we talked about a high amp output, uh, high discharge rate, but what does that actually mean? Well, when you're looking for an electric skateboard, you wanna look for a battery that has at least a 30 amp output. Many people uh, send me links to a 10,000 or 15,000 milliamp hour uh, power bank that they found on Amazon for like 40 or 50 bucks and they asked me, is this a good option? No, that's not okay. You cannot use a simple power bank to, to run your electric skateboard. Um, you know, those battery packs are designed to only uh, output one or two amps to charge a smartphone, not 30 for an electric skateboard. You know, uh, using those battery packs, you know, even at three, four or five amps would damage it, let alone 30 would probably burst into flames. So keep that in mind, you need a very specific battery for an electric skateboard, just because it has a really big capacity does not mean it's going to work for you um, for an electric skateboard. So just keep that in mind. So like I was saying before, proper voltage is super important. Voltage directly impacts your speed. So uh, electric skateboard builders, we usually stick uh, in the 6S to 12S range. Um, just to clarify, I'm gonna be using the letters S and P to describe battery packs. S stands for cells in series, while P stands for uh, cells in parallel. Um, any cell you have in series uh, makes the voltage higher, which increases your speed. Any cells that you have in parallel um, increase the capacity and discharge rate. So just keep that in mind. Um, the more cells you have in series, the faster your battery will go. The more cells you have in parallel, the farther your, your board will go and the higher uh, discharge rate the whole battery pack will have. Um, hopefully that's not too confusing. Again, there's a lot of really in-depth overall battery videos out there on, on the internet, but anyways. So when I say six to 12 S batteries, I am talking about cells in series, which is the voltage, which impacts your speed. Uh, so six S is the absolute bottom. Um, it's more of a slower board. That's more 16 to 18 mile per hour top speed. Um, while 12 S is like 30 to 35 miles per hour, um, which is a little too fast for me. I personally don't ride that fast. So I usually recommend 10 S It's a nice, nice, uh, middle ground. It's about 25 miles per hour, uh, 25 to 28 miles per hour, which I think is perfect. 
Um, so anyway, so when you're looking for an electric skateboard battery, you want to find something between 6S and 12S, but I always recommend 10S. So high amp output, proper voltage, and then you need an adequate capacity. Without capacity, you're not going very far. You know, you don't, nobody wants to ride an electric skateboard for two minutes and then your battery's then you have to charge it again. So um, typically um, looking at the milliamp hour ratings of battery isn't the most accurate way of determining your range. Uh, but with that being said, I still urge people to look for batteries with about 5,000 milliamp hours at the, at the least. Um, anything more than that is just bonus. So like uh, the, our 10S 2P batteries are 6,000 milliamp hours, really good range on that. Our 10S 3P is 9,000 milliamp hour rating, uh, so even more range. So um, yeah, so look at that. You don't want something with like 400 milliamp hour, 500 milliamp hour. You're just not going very far. You know, you're gonna go like a mile and that's it. So while looking for batteries, keep an eye on the milliamp hour rating, but also look at the watt hour rating. Watt hour rating will uh, be way more accurate when it comes to um, figuring out your range. Uh, for an example, uh, 180 watt hours is about 10 miles of range. Now, of course, that depends on your wheel size. It depends on what motor you're using, the, the weight of the rider, which ESC you're using, the efficiency of your whole build. But um, give or take 180 watt hours is about 10 miles of range. Um, but just, you know, keep an eye on that. The, you know, the, the higher the watt hour the rating it is, um, the more range you're gonna have. So, you know, 300 watt hours is gonna have much more range than 180. So keep that in mind. Um, but it's pretty simple. Just find that uh, data when you're looking for batteries and, and you know, keep that as high as you can. So we've talked about all this data, but what are your options? You know, if, if you just want some simple recommendations, uh, I always recommend 10S2P or 10S3P um, lithium ion battery packs. Very, very easy to use. For example, here we have the Mboard's 10S2P battery pack. It has 6,000 milliamp hour rating, um, good for around 10 to 12 miles of range, um, made with high quality Samsung 30, Q cells, um, has a BMS built in. And here we have the 10S3P uh, Bigger Brother, larger pack, um, that'll go even farther, about 15 miles of range. Um, again, really, really easy to use. But for everybody who is looking to save a little bit of money, you can also go with uh, LiPo packs. Keep in mind, you will have to buy a balanced charger and most likely uh, charge them separately. Um, but these are really easy to use. Um, all these batteries fit really nicely in um, regular traditional electric skateboard enclosures, so keep that in mind as well. Um, but my very first build used the LiPo batteries and it was great, but it, you know, charging them separately and taking them in and out of the board did get old after a while, but it was a really cheap way to kind of get in the game and figure it all out before I upgraded my battery pack. So many people who do opt for the LiPo battery packs, um, keep in mind you do need six to 12S setup. So these 5S battery packs that doesn't really fit in that. So what you do is you get two and then you wire them in series. So that, that 5S plus 5S is 10S, which falls right into our range. So you so use them in a series um, configuration. And when it comes time to charging them, unfortunately you will have to unplug them and then plug them into your balance charger and, and charge them separately. But at least, you know, you can get into it for cheap and uh, yeah, hopefully that clears that up. Like always, the best electric skateboard parts are the ones that you can afford, but with batteries, be really careful. Don't buy something too cheap. If it's too good to be true, it probably is. Be careful, don't buy fake batteries. Um, that happens all the time. Um, so just be careful out there, You know, spend a little bit more on your battery, and then maybe you can find other ways to save on the rest of the electric skateboard parts. But just be really, really careful with your battery. I personally use the 10S3P M-Boards uh, Samsung 30Q battery. I really like it. It has plenty of power, tons of range. Um, so if you want my recommendation, that's what I personally use in my own boards. But, uh, but yeah. Um, so what battery are you thinking about getting? Um, what configuration are you going to use? Let me know in the comments. I love to hear what your thoughts are. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. I'm always around to uh, answer your questions. Um, no question is usually left unanswered. But uh, anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, you should. Tons of electric skateboard content um, all the time here on this channel. We have so much more, more builds, more tutorials, more discussion stuff, all right here on the channel. Um, again, if you're thinking about getting a battery, maybe check out mboards.co. We have a bunch of batteries and electric skateboard parts there. Um, again, thank you for watching. All of our social media handles are in the description as well. And all the links to all the things we've talked about are in the description. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next one.